Okay, side project tutorial take seven. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going to fucking give up and just go to bed, because it's late. So, here's what's going on. I decided that I should do a drop edit for Dodge and Fusky's remix of Radio View by Schism, because it's a fucking epic intro and it probably one of the world's most disappointing drops, in my personal opinion. So I figured I would fix that and just let it be, and I made a sound that I was like, whoa, holy shit, that sounds like Side Project. So I figured I would just make a tutorial for it, because a couple of people have been asking me to see if I can recreate some Side Project sounds. So, here's what we got. I don't know which came first. Shit. Okay, that is way too far back. Get the drum sample. couldn't tell, you will be trying, or not trying, you will be creating, for the love of God, why will this not work, there, you will be creating this, so as always, I'm kind of winging this, someday I'll decide I want to write down all the steps to making something. I'll decide that I want to write down all the steps and it'll sound much more professional and it'll be a much better tutorial. But for now, it's almost midnight, I'm fucking tired, and I just had to make this so that y'all can have your side project noises. So... Let's begin. It's in Serum. If y'all if y'all didn't know, Side Project is basically like Ser like Serum's probably their number one user. He, that's kinda all he uses almost ever. So I actually remembered how to make these wavetables this time. So what you're going to do for your first wavetable is you're going to go into Spectral, find Racy Mess 5. Hey. That doesn't sound so bad, but you're going to find Racy Mess 5. You go in here, you're going to find Squareify. how that sounds. So for oscillator B, you're going to go to analog. You're going to go all the way up to 4088. And you are going to squareify that as well. Turn off all of the effects here. So that's what it sounds like right now. You're going to put unison up to 3 on both. Detuned nothing on both. Blend all the way up on both. Random goes all the way down on oscillator A. And all the way up on oscillator B. The wave table position is at 243 on oscillator A. And you're gonna come in here, you're gonna find FM from B. 
put the knob at 17% and the little value on alpha 1 to A warp should be 52. Bring the level all the way down. I'm just going to show you how that works. You're just going to, the level is probably going to be about here. I'm just going to bring it all the way down. Put LFO1 on it, and it'll do that automatically. So, you're going to do the same thing you did with the volume here, with the wavetable position here, and turn the volume all the way down. And that's all for the wavetables. And this is where it starts to get just the tiniest bit janky. So, this ring mod filter. <laughs> It sounds fantastic, but only on this one note. It's kind of weird, so... Sounds good, right? Sounds like shit. Sounds even more like shit. They start sounding progressively more like shit. The further away you get from the original note until you get to the octave. So... This cutoff knob... You're going to have to figure out where it needs to go for whatever you're doing. And maybe you sh you'd end up automating that and having that sound exactly right for the various notes you play with this sound. But for me right now, it only works on D sharp. So, yeah. That's kind of janky, but, you know. If you want, you can just copy down this stuff. Or it, the, the cutoff is the part that really matters, and it's at 297 hertz. The rest of this doesn't really matter kind of at all. But, you know, so your LFO shape, this is kind of important. You're going to have just a normal slope up. And you're going to, for this, to this uh, first line right there, put a dot down here and you're gonna bring this till it's in the middle between these two lines right here and there you go that's your LFO shape turn on trigger I always turn on trigger and yeah so going to the effects system here didn't actually end up putting any distortion on there within serum anyway so phaser Turn off the, basically turn off the rate, put the depth all the way down, and modulate this by 48, no, 47, somehow it makes a difference, frequency stays where it is, feed stays where it is, I believe, and the drive goes all the way up, and is modulated by negative 84 and the mix it gets put at 59 get yourself a compressor turn on multiband put the threshold at negative 12.8 db the ratio at 2 to 1 attack nothing release nothing and gain at zero so you, you have yourself now it sounds like this. Just makes it sound a lot clearer. So your EQ, I'm going to put them both on bell curves. Frequency goes from 45 hertz, and it is modulated by a factor of 51. Q goes to 33%, and the value for the modulation is 27. And the gain is whatever that little number just was, 11.1 dB. And this, the gain is at 9.6. The Q is pretty much right in the middle. And the frequency goes from 5,936 Hz. And the modulation value is 65, minus 65. This is all LFO1. Now you have this. So you're going to put another filter.
filter in, go in here to flanges, and find FS FHS 12 plus, which is right there. And you're going to put the cutoff all the way down and modulate by a value of 55. Resonance is 12%, drive 6%, and mix is 65. Now you get this. Just making it screamy a little bit. And I believe that should be all for the serum patch. Now, actually, the serum patch... Okay. I forgot to do this. I forgot to take off the fucking effects. The serum patch itself sounds like this. So, yours doesn't sound different. This is... It, I had a ton of effects on it, and it was being a little bitch. That's what your serum patch should sound like. Next, you're going to throw an OTT on there. Again, there's, for some reason, no fucking values for any of this. So I can't fucking tell you where to put this. So just do it by ear or by eye. And like, every single parameter on here is important. This stuff over here, I, was, I left stock. The only thing I touched was in here. So... With OTT? No. Without OTT? With OTT? Just makes it super clear. It's like mastering a song, basically. Put a Camel Crusher on there. And I think I just had it on Annihilate. Just copy these by eye because they don't give you any any uh, values either, and I don't think I left it stock. So you just copy those values by eye. And this is a corpus, I believe. Yes, it is a corpus. You're gonna throw a punchy snare corpus on there and put the dry wet down to 21% and that's all you actually edit on the corpus. I know I've got a weird skin on right now, sorry guys. And... So, no punchy snare corpus. Again, makes it super clear. And, like I always do, on most of my sounds anyway, I put a phaser. Just make sure your LFO is not doing anything. Put the phase 314, 320, whatever sounds good to you. None of this gets moved. Feedback goes to 9.99. Dry wet, 49.2%. Color, 71.1%. Earth and not one, but two poles. Two poles. And that's all for the phaser. As a matter of fact, that's all for the patch. So I may put this up for a free download. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, have have fun with that. <laughs>